What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to create a sketch illustration of Black Adam. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle on the top of our page to define the size of the head. We start right in the middle at the very top. It's gonna to work our way around the left side. Now we don't wanna to go too dark because we'll eventually erase this out. And just work our way around the right side and bring that back in toward the center. I'm just going back and just readjusting the shape of our circle. Now with our circle in place, we want to add a set of guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center. So we'll start at the very top in the middle. I'm going to bring that line coming all the way down the middle of our page towards the bottom. Let's add another line on the side. Starting from the left, bring that line coming down. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to tilt the head forward so the eyes are going to sit along the bottom of our circle. So let's add another guideline. Starting from the bottom, draw a line going out towards the left and right side. Now with our circle and guidelines in place, we want to start blocking out the facial features. Let's start by locating the top edge of the brow. From the bottom of our circle, we're going to step up, sketch a line going out towards the left and right side. Now the brow is going to sit along this line. Let's add a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, move over toward the left. Sketch a line coming down. Take that same distance over towards the right. Let's go back to this point, angle the eyebrow going up and out towards the side of a circle. And do the same thing on the right side. And it'll curl up the inside of the brow. Starting back on the left, curve this in and then up, just beside that center line. Now from the bottom edge of the brow, we're just gonna curve the eye coming in and then down towards the bottom of our circle. Let's work our way around the outside of the eye, going out, and then we'll bend that down. Let's tuck the pupils underneath the eyelid. We're gonna start back over on the left, we're gonna draw a small half circle. We're gonna come down, and then back up towards the top. Let's draw the bottom of the eyelid, starting from the bottom of the circle, curve this down underneath the pupil, and just pull that in. Now with the eyes in place, we're gonna move down and draw on the nose. We're gonna start right about here, let's sketch a circle, Going around the tip of the nose. And it will flare out the nostrils. Starting from the bottom left of that circle, angle is up and out. Do the same thing on the right. I'm just gonna curve this up and then bring that back down towards the outside of that circle. From the inside of the nostril, draw a straight line going all the way up towards the brow. Let's go back to the bottom edge of the nose. We're going to step down, draw a straight line going across from left to right for the mouth. And then to locate the corners of the mouth, we're going to line up with the outside of the pupil. It's going to sketch a line coming down, just lightly sketching this out. Now you want to add some shape to the upper lip. Starting right in the middle, step up, add a curve, coming down and up. And from the top, angle is down and out towards the corners of the mouth. Let's add in the lower lip. Starting back over on the left, and then it's down and towards the middle, and then back up. Now from the bottom of the lip, we step down and just mark off the chin with a straight line. Now I want to extend these lines coming down towards the chin. Let's connect this point to the bottom corner of the chin with a straight angle line. Now going back up to the top of the nostril, we're going to draw an angle line coming down and out just on the outside corner of the mouth.
and then we'll draw a straight line coming down towards the chin. Now we're gonna go back and add some shape to the outside of the head. Let's start from the outside of the eyebrow, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the cheekbone. Let's round out the cheeks. We come down and then bend that in. And then draw another straight line coming down towards the jaw. Now we want to slope the jaw coming down and in. So we'll start from the cheek, angles down and in. Now going back up, we're going to draw in the ears. Let's line up with the outside of the eyebrow, step out, draw a straight angle line going up and out on both sides. Come down the side of the ear, and then we'll just bend that back in towards the side of the head. Now the outside edge of the neck is going to sit along this outside line. So let's start from that line across the mouth, angle the shoulders, coming down and out. Let's add the edge of the collar. Starting back over and left, draw a straight line going across from left to right. Then from the ends, angles up and out towards the shoulders. Now that we have a rough sketch in place, let's move to the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. We're going to start with the bottom edge of the eyebrow. Let's start over and left. I'm just going to bend this down across the eye. I'm going to add that fold, coming up and in. We'll do the same thing on the right. We want to bend the eyebrow coming back down along the side and just fade that out. And draw the inside edge of the eyes. work our way towards the outside. Let's add a fold above the eye. And we'll darken up the center the pupil. Go back and just darken up that shadow underneath the brow. Also darken up that shadow along the inside. a little bit heavier with that shadow on the right, going around the edge of the nose. I'm just gonna add one more fold in the center. down and start adding some detail to the nose. Start with the bottom edge, 
foot up towards the nostrils. Just darken up the bottom edge of the nose. down and start adding some darkness and shadows to the mouth. back and start adding some shape to the outside of the head. Starting with the cheekbones. We'll add a shadow along the side and just fade that in.
And now we're just gonna add some more shape to the top of the head. and just lightly erase that center guideline and clean up our shading. And we'll carry that shadow up on the right side of the head and just blending that out. Go back and just readjust the shape of the jawline. We're working our way around the side of the neck. We're going to cast a dark shadow underneath the head, across the neck. And right here we can just readjust the shape of the jaw. Just bringing that in a little bit along the side and then fading that shadow out.
Now, as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of the Black Adam. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.